How's it going, guys? My name is Death Hunter, and you are watching Death Hunter Quality Gaming. Oh my god, is this really a thing? Are you freaking kidding me? Do people seriously think the Earth is fucking flat? Really? Does the name Columbus ring any bells? What the frick? <laughs> this doesn't make sense. I mean... You... Gravity would turn anything in space that got big enough into a ball anyway. And the Earth being the fifth largest planet in the solar system is definitely big enough. Especially considering Mercury is smaller than we are and it's still a sphere. Just... Just what the fuck? Just what the fuck? Okay, I'm... But whatever, let's get into this, and I'm kind of curious just to see what the comments are like, so we might skip through, I don't want to make a 30 minute video, so I'm just going to skip through a few things. A pilot is flying around the curve of the earth, then it sh he should be dipping the nose down, every five minutes he should be dipping the nose down to stay around the curve. But the thing that really got me interested was, as you say, the gyroscope in a plane. Oh my fucking god. You motherfucking moron. Do you know the, f the scale to which a plane is to the freaking earth? The plane is like that. If the earth was, say, a sphere about... Say, sorry, say, I don't know, why, why does my camera do that? Okay, say the size of, a, say the size of a uh, volleyball, let's say. A plane would be a freaking speck. They're so gosh, gosh darn tiny, so the curve of the earth is not going to have any effect. Not only that, but they're also doing the ar an arching pattern anyway. Like, it's not... They're making a parabola in the sky, so it's not going to make any difference where, where that the heck at the Earth is flat or not. So you can't use that as an argument. There is an artificial horizon, and it's based on a gyroscope. And if you spin a gyroscope on a surface... Okay. You gave us the thing of a gyroscope. If you want to stay upright, you can twist and tilt the surface as much as you like. The gyroscope will stay upright. If a plane has a gyroscope and it starts following the curve of the Earth, mm. the gyroscope would stay upright, which means your the artificial horizon will start to roll backwards. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't. Mm -hmm. That's absolute proof that a plane flies over a flat surface rather than a curved one. Because I asked the pilot. I don't even want to say anything about that. Because this guy's a fucking idiot. What the hell is this? Oh my god. Could someone tell me what the fuck this is? Please? Someone? No? Okay. Why won't somebody end my life? I want to die. Do you ever notice the artificial horizon rolling backwards? He said, no, no, but the artificial horizon has complex electronics in it to make sure it knows where it is on the Earth and it compensates. But I went to the manufacturer of the artificial horizon and they confirmed to me that it's completely mechanical. Nothing electronic in it whatsoever. So it's literally... You fucking idiot. You freaking idiot. Ugh. For something to be mechanical, it has to be electronic. I mean, I guess... Even old machines with cranks, you still had electricity, static electricity, and going around like this. You can't say that something's mechanical without it being electronic. Like... In, even nowadays plants, if it didn't have electricity or hydraulics or anything like that, it wouldn't fly. It just, it just wouldn't fly. It'd be a glider. And that a very heavy glider at that, it just wouldn't fly. That's complete bullcrap, and you know it. Right, I'm going to skip ahead, because I don't know what the fuck this guy is talking about. Yeah, so... 
That just means that just proves the Earth is rotating. You're just not far away enough. I mean, you can't see the whole thing. And even tilt, you can see it kind of like go up. Kind of like go up, but it also is curving a little bit. So, I mean, it's a very small curve, but because the Earth is so big, it compensates. Come on, phone load. famous picture. It's got Africa sort of near the top. And it's the same picture they've been using for the last 40 or 50 years in every textbook. It's called the freaking axis, you every idiot. Image is what they call a composite. The point is that distances and flight plans are very different on the flat Earth than they are on the ball. And when you look at flights in the southern hemisphere, they make some really crazy deviations. For instance, if you look on here, let's say a flight from Cape Town over here to Sydney in Australia, they will take you to Dubai first, somewhere around here, yes. So they'll... That's only because you can't physically depict a round, a spherical thing on a flat surface. You just can't do it. You freaking idiot. And they're trying to make it look like an arch. It's not, like I said before, a plane travels in a parabola. It doesn't just go, it doesn't lift off and make a straight line and make a B line because it has to get over the curvature of the Earth. It even has to make a steeper curve than everything else. And if it if just because it's going up, it could go the opposite way too. It could make you look like you're swinging around towards Antarctica, but it'd still be a straight like it'd still be a par uh, parabola going straight down diagonally. It looks like that. It looks like you're making an uh, arch like that, but it's only because you have to make it flat. You can't do that without it being incorrect. By thousands of miles north. Just recently, there was a case of a woman who was pregnant on a flight, and she was about to, her waters broke on the flight. And I think it was from the Philippines to Los Angeles. And if you look on this map, you're from around here somewhere to to here. Okay. Now they were flying across, and her waters broke, and they had to divert. They had to land. So instead of either going back to the Philippines or going on to Los Angeles, they went, they landed in Alaska, which again, if you look on the flat map... It's, it's called a freaking flight of... ...from the Philippines over Alaska to Los Angeles. Planes might have to do that all the time. It's about the same distance, even though it's going like this. If, if you turn it up and move up to, like, Anchorage or Juno, it's about the same distance. You just have to move up. And that's why they had to do that. Or what would he have said if they had if they diverted it down to Honolulu? Because that's probably where it would have been closest. But he have said, oh, wait a minute. Um, this is a couple thousand miles um, south of where they should have been. That's bullshit. It's just complete bullshit. I mean... You can't just base it off the fact that someone had to divert the flight just to get someone on a freaking hosp into a freaking hospital. You can't divert that flight. I mean, it's you. It, what the? F oh my god. In the middle of the explosion, you'll see it glows hot. And then it cools over time. So it looks to me like they were exploding against a dome. Alright. I, I think I've seen enough. This guy's a freaking... Oh, wait, no. Well, I was going to check a look at the freaking... Sorry about that. The word Dominic means... I'm done with you. You're a freaking moron. Alright. Hold up. Let's just take a look at the damn comments and see... Okay, this person has it. It's surprising how many people believe this bullshit. Anyone with basic understanding of physics and astronomy knows that it's completely impossible for the Earth to be anything but spherical. Thank you very much, okay, uh, Mr. Joel. You are a very smart person. 
Um, okay, let's see. See if I can actually find ones. Oh, God. Oh no, frickin' duh, v -Kubi. We discovered that planets are round. Do you mean spherical or do you mean actually round? If you mean spherical, then you're fucking right. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Okay, Tobias Beecher, I have some I have some beef to pick with you. Um, it's called the weather, it's called wind, um, and it's also called frickin' gravity, okay? If it spins, it's gonna be, gravity's gonna overpower the spinning force, because even at 1,045 miles an hour, gra it's so close to the actual core of the Earth, that you're gonna be, that th the spinning has no effect, it's just gonna drop to the ground. If this man dies as suspicious, then, then you should know for sure he was telling the truth. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, I love that. I'm going to give that a thumbs up. That's amazing. Okay. Okay, hold up. Yikes. Someone should put this, like, at least a couple clips from this into, like, a try not to cringe video. My god. God damn it, where are people... If the Earth was flat, how the hell do we have gravity? Very good point. Okay. Technically, it doesn't stay on a ball. Water is within the ball, surrounded by the Earth. And to really test it, you would have to test the humongous ball, and it has to be in the same... What the atmosphere, not to, the Earth's atmosphere, is going the same... What the f*** are you talking about? What the heck is this? What do you mean? Stay on a ball, water is within the ball surrounded by the Earth. Oh. Wait, what? There's no ball being surrounded by the Earth, the Earth is the ball. What the frick? Very true. Uh, spins differently on the southern and northern hemisphere. Nicholas Marchuk. Uh, I would love to see your brain exploding all over the place and your testicles being smashed for you. What the f... I like this guy. He's smart. I like that. Earth is not flat. Even the emotions agree with me. Oh, oh, that's amazing. Good on that person. Oh, psh, I didn't mean to do that. Discard. Okay, hold up. One month ago. Fucking dumbass. Alright, um, kids, this is why you need to stay in school, or you grow up to be a delusional lo loser than this fat guy. Again, like it, love it, gotta stay with it. Alright, um, okay.
What the? That, okay, that doesn't even make... Okay. Yes? I'm recording a video. Okay, um... Sorry about that. Alright, well. I think that sums up my point. Most people do are quite informed on the topic that this is all freaking fake. I've put my kibosh on it, but that's... You people, it's your choice if you want to believe me or not, but... Oh, yeah, 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 okay. So, that'll wrap up this video. Sorry about that. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.